several OpenAI employees have reached out to the board of directors, reporting a significant discovery that could lead to the emergence of a powerful artificial intelligence posing a threat to humans. The creation of humanoid androids is reaching a completely new level, as is the process of producing the latest robots. The first chimeric monkey with two sets of DNA was born in China. Doctors at a London hospital fitted the world's first 3D printed eye prosthesis to a patient. These and other high-tech news in one video. OpenAI secretly developed a powerful artificial intelligence, according to information obtained by Reuters from informed sources. Several OpenAI employees reportedly wrote to the board of directors, informing them of a significant discovery that could lead to the emergence of a powerful artificial intelligence potentially harmful to humans. These letters and the artificial intelligence algorithm became the basis for accusations against Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, of insufficient transparency. In other words, he allegedly concealed these developments from the board of directors. Reuters was unable to obtain a copy of the letter itself, and its authors declined to provide any comments. Official company representatives also refused to clarify the situation. However, Mira Murati, who declined the rebel leadership's offer to take Altman's place, sent an internal message to employees, mentioning a project called QSTAR and a letter to the board of directors. According to some company employees, the QSTAR project could be a breakthrough in the development of the so-called strong or universal artificial intelligence, as stated by one source. According to OpenAI's definition, universal artificial intelligence surpasses humans in most economically significant metrics. From the fragmentary information about the development of QSTAR, it appears that Altman and everyone within OpenAI were shocked by the first manifestation of what can be called superintelligence. This artificial intelligence started providing accurate answers to mathematical problems without training. This and in a broader sense, the ability to discern truth from falsehood remained a fundamental barrier for the current linguistic model GPT. This implies the capability for self-learning and self-improvement based on autonomously acquired data. In the spring, Ilya Sutzkever, co-founder and former chief scientist of OpenAI, admitted that he believed GPT-4 could grow into a universal artificial intelligence and even provided a timeline. The danger of the tool would become apparent in just a couple of years. It is likely that the breakthrough occurred significantly earlier. Once again, this raises questions about the responsibility of companies developing artificial intelligence and control over artificial intelligence. Creating an active facial expression on an android is labor-intensive and time-consuming. However, the Hiroshi Ishiguro Laboratory has developed a system that allows the use of a multi-material 3D printer for the simultaneous production of an android's head, including its skin and mechanical components. All that is required is inserting the block of executive mechanisms into the back, and it's ready to go. The concept is that with 31 degrees of freedom, you can quickly modify designs without the need for simultaneous adjustments of multiple actuators. The first chimeric monkey with two sets of DNA was born in China. The birth of a chimeric primate is a significant breakthrough and beyond the fact of the creature's existence. Scientists are astonished by the volume of tissues formed by stem cells from the second embryo. The results are important for studying human diseases within animal organisms and for cultivating donor organs in them, a shortage that remains a significant problem for all countries. Currently, scientists are actively exploring the possibilities of xenotransplantation, where genetically modified organs from animals are transplanted into humans. To date, two such operations have already been conducted in the United States, but patients have survived no more than two months after them. A group of engineers and surgeons from different countries, based at the Australian Bionics Institute, has developed an innovative method for connecting a prosthesis to the human body. This technology enabled a Swedish patient to receive a bionic arm, seamlessly integrated into her nervous system and skeleton equipped with artificial intelligence. She has regained approximately 80% of the daily functionality of her hand and fingers. Moreover, the prosthesis is capable of enduring continuous use for over three years, with the worn out parts easily replaceable. Chinese scientists have developed a photonic microchip that demonstrates an incredible speed of operations in artificial intelligence tasks while consuming extremely low energy. 
In laboratory tests, the new chip achieved a speed of 4.6 petaflops, which is 3,000 times faster than the most common artificial intelligence processor, the NVIDIA A100 graphics card. Although it may not immediately replace chips in computers and smartphones, in the near future, it could find applications in wearable devices, electric vehicles, and smart factories. Doctors at Moorfields Eye Hospital in London made history by fitting the world's first 3D printed ocular prosthesis to a patient. Why is this incredibly important? It's not just because such an eye looks much more realistic than traditional implants, but because the manufacturing process is reduced to two to three weeks instead of the typical two to three months. Additionally, this production method eliminates the unpleasant procedure of taking an eye socket cast. Instead, a three-dimensional scan and model are created. The digital model is then sent to the lab, where the prosthesis is 3D printed in a matter of hours and sent back for polishing and final fitting. Imagine walking into a room and seeing an exact replica of yourself. Only this version doesn't breathe because it's made of silicon metal. This is not science fiction. In China, robots that replicate humans down to the pattern of veins and goosebumps on the skin are already being created. The world where robots are indistinguishable from humans has become a reality in Dalian, Lianning Province, where the X Future and Science Museum recently opened, featuring exhibits by the company X Robots. However, this is not just an ordinary museum. It houses a research and development department, as well as production and assembly lines for bionic robots, allowing them to create a realistic and incredibly accurate replica of any museum visitor. X-Robot specializes in the research, development, production, sale, and maintenance of intelligent bionic humanoid robots. The company's portfolio includes celebrity robots, promoter robots with cute cartoon appearances, and pole dancing robots designed to attract customers to bars and clubs, the latter being a recent addition soon to be available for purchase. Robots play a role in various fields, from the service industry and trade shows to science-related events, but their primary impact is in business. In the future, the company plans to focus on customers, especially especially in the field of early education and childcare. Each robot is unique and designed to appear as realistic as possible. To create a robot replica, a person is scanned using a high-precision 3D scanner. Gynoids or female robots possess a more slender physique compared to male robots. However, in improvised cryo chambers showcased in museums, the precision and detailing on hands, faces, and other exposed body parts, such as robot legs, reach a fantastic level. The depiction of veins, lines on palms, and goosebumps on the skin, all reproduced from medical silicone on a 3D printer, display a startling realism. Additionally, the creators are working to make the interaction with the robot feel like interacting with a human. It takes anywhere from three to six months to create a humanoid robot. The company's goal is to improve the life of every person. To achieve this, a robot museum has been established, providing everyone with the opportunity to get closer to humanoid robots. The company does not rule out the possibility of opening such museums abroad, but this requires time and a willingness from countries to collaborate with X-Robots. Write in the comments what you think about the emergence of powerful artificial intelligence that poses a threat to humans. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.